Fox has a long history of three gal movies, from <laughs> three li A Letter to Three Wives to Three Coins in a Fountain, Valley of the Dolls, Nine to Five, and now you three mm. are part of a very hallowed group of women. So what makes the other woman fit so well with the women today, mm -hmm. in terms of its representation of women? Mm. Hmm. I, <laughs> you know, I think that um, women really, the relationships that women have with one another, I think for most women are their most valued possessions. Their most valued interactions in life come from um, the relationships with women and over their whole lifetimes. Um, and I think that it's really what we loved about this film is that this shows really how women, it, you know, it's the, the cheating and the revenge of it all is just a catalyst to bring these women together mm -hmm. so that we can show much like nine to five um, where, you know, those three women would have never known one another. And same with these three women. There's no other way they would have come together and realized that their strengths and weaknesses were something that they could all learn from. Mm -hmm and um, from one another and be able to enrich their lives and grow as human beings. And so I think that represents more of what true wh female friendships are about, not the cattiness that they're attacking each other all the time. And there was a time and place where I think that that was more relevant, but... Right. Not anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a, well, as a gay man, I guess I have both perspectives mm -hmm. in some weird yeah. way. Like, I know how gay men are together as a group. Mm -hmm. And there's certain tropes that we, unfortunately, do live out loud. But mm -hmm. I have some ideas that women are the same way. Is it hard for women to be friends, so really? Is there any com competition at all, really? No, mm -hmm. actually. Like, do you all have close women friends yeah. that you all turn to? Yeah. Lots of them. What's the secret to having a really good female friend, do you think? I think that yeah, th there's no real secret. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just, you know, the, the wonderful thing about, I think, the dynamic of women who are w girls' girls is that you don't envy another woman. You don't, you're not in competition with her. You celebrate her. You celebrate her beauty. You celebrate what she possesses that's, you know, beautiful and alluring. And you celebrate for yourself mm -hmm. your own beauty and what you have, what you have to offer. It's about appreciating what you have and not envying somebody else and um, you know and celebrating that other person in yourself so it's not you know your your friendships are not for you to say that's what I wish I had it's it's to say how can I be better how can I have what you know am I happy in my life how can I make things who can I how can I be the best person that I can be now you all represent one very specific type of woman so how close were you to the woman you were playing in the film? Because all of you add up to one incredible piece of estrogen, <laughs> number one. So, but Leslie, I'm gonna start with you because I, I loved your performance so Aww, much. I figured I'd be you in this equation. <laughs> I am that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, just how did you want to kind of give reality to the situation? It is, it is heightened and comedy only works best when it's truthful anyway. Right. So mm -hmm. how did you find the truth in the roles that you were playing? Well, it is, um, you know, it is how uh, what my character goes through is what a lot of women go through. Um, and I loved the arc. I love that she starts out in one place and then completely grows into an, another woman. And, and becomes like, you know, she learns from these two how to be, she grows and learns so much from, from these guys. And I think we all have that same thing. Like, we're all teaching each other something and we all have something to offer. And that's the same for you know, our female friendships. It's, everyone has a different color to offer. And, and that's how we all grow together. And that's like a really nice thing. Now, Kate, you're the wild card in this. And I have to say, I think Monroe would be very proud of you. <laughs> you, know, you gave that kind of naive sense, a really great yeah. sense of humanity and fun. And so for you, I mean, were you nervous? I mean, these are, this is like two titans here yeah. who know their way around a comedy. I'm sorry. And so mm -hmm. did you feel a little intimidated at all? Well, of, of course. You know, walking onto set the first day, I, was, I didn't know what to expect. I'd never been on a, a movie set really before. And these two women opened their arms to me and made me feel comfortable, made me feel like I could mess up and, and you know, try anything for the role so I could make a fool of myself and, and kind of find the comedy in it. And um, they encouraged me whenever I was feeling a little insecure or I was uh, unsure what I was doing and then they, you know, praised me whenever I was doing well. And that's why they're so amazing is mm -hmm. every step of the way they were there for me and they supported me.